unfortunately I can't set the camera up far enough to be really useful to show off what I'm doing here but basically it's taking those open fibers and flipping the model back and forth seeing which one goes where and then seeing if the color looks good for example on the far panel in there which may or may not be in shot right now there's a yellow going on now and then a warm white to the left of it similarly it's taking these blanks here holding them up to let's say we'll put them all in flashing blue because that's a very blatant color now let's see where those go yeah it looks like they go into the uh, top computer piece there and there's a flashing green in there too I see it must have slipped in there so each of these could go to a different one of those colors so let's go and do that and I'm guessing that all of this is in shot right now I can't quite tell so I got five flashing colors here four fast and one random well, let's see if these guys are... where do these guys go? Looks like they're over on that same command console. The only way to get a shot of it is like that. So that's all of these guys right here that I can clip down to at least about this length, it looks like. And hopefully that's not too short. Now... Let's temporarily remove these two. Let's try a solid color as well. So I see a flashing green, but that's about it. What is going on? So now it's down to troubleshooting. There is a flashing blue in there too. I see a flashing red where it shouldn't be. Well, flashing yellow on the bottom is ineffective because of all the flashing yellow on the top. So let's stick that one into red and see what happens. Now the ones on the actual Burroughs computer were uh, fairly slow on their timing. That is to say they weren't, it wasn't a rushed flashing rate. Oh. I got three sequencing in a row. So that's pretty good for that one. Let's go and hit the other one. And I'm going to guess that this bundle right here is the... Wow, so that's a good range across the entire bottom there. green is very bright. I may need to do a little surgery and put a resistor in there to make it a little dimmer. So I can cut these down to right about here. Let's hope that's not too short. So I've been finding that little pieces of tape around bundles of fiber optics can help to separate them, but when it goes to plugging them in, they can actually be a hindrance, I am learning. Let's go for red first. There we are. I didn't think yellow was effective, but we'll try one more. Some slower blink rates in this area would definitely have been handy. That's a good learning experience for Jupiter 2 Mark II. 
So having learned how to build this model, I now really want to implement all the stuff that uh, I've learned into a more cohesive package. Yeah, it's a little fast, but that's okay. There should be some slow yellows that come in on that line now and then. I've got a bunch of loose short ones here, but maybe I can actually reach them into this yellow right here. It's quite possible that these simply fell out of here at that at some point as well. As long as I don't lose these other ones in the dip process, everything's cool. Oops. Whew. Is that really it? No, nope. gotta plug this guy back in. That was going to any old yellow. And this other one is going all the way around here to a warm white. If it doesn't get itself unplugged. Or actually crushed because there's a landing leg right there. So, let's just make this simple and throw it on a different yellow. flip it over and have a look. Pretty good. I see there's a missing console face. We'll have to install that as well. And it will be tricky because of all the uh, inner workings going on here. So next up it looks like I'm drilling out this LED.